And now we go to Gabon, where a research facility has been built to handle the world's most dangerous viruses. The International Center for Medical Research is located on the outskirts of Franceville in the country's southeastern province. A team of specialists are sampling, testing and researching the strain of the latest Ebola virus, which has killed at least 27 people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Take a look. This is a research facility in the city of Franceville in Gabon. The ultra-high security lab has backup power plants. Even the air is filtered, built to handle the world's most dangerous viruses. From the deadly Ebola to the Marburg and Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever virus, only three researchers and a technician are authorized to go inside. We have here a high-security laboratory which allows us to handle the most dangerous infectious agents which are responsible for the most deadly pathologies. The latest Ebola outbreak killed at least 27 people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Samples of the virus are being researched and analyzed here. We have put our virology department, especially the units that treat Ebola hemorrhagic fevers on alert to receive samples from Equator province, where the Ebola virus is currently found in the DRC. The specialized team is hunting for clues on the virus's ancestry and evolution. It takes 24 to 48 hours for samples to arrive. There could be transmission from bats to great apes via anything that is infected with contaminated saliva from bats. And then there is the hypothesis that was also put forward of a possible direct transmission of a bat to man. But there is only one case that's been reported. The center was founded in 1979 by the late President Omar Bongo Odimba to initially study national fertility rates. But over the years, it's moved on to AIDS, malaria, cancer, and viral diseases. The center is financed by the Gabonese government, and its reputation now draws in scientists, students, and apprentices from Africa, Asia, Europe, and the United States. Jane Keo, CGTN.